You know something that we haven't done? Anything easy? <laughs> something quick? Yeah, something cheap. <laughs> That's something we haven't done. The small town of Tappan is arguably the home of rusty cars. It's located in British Columbia, Canada. The town boasts about 500 rusty cars sprawled out on Vastland area. Because of the sheer number of old, rusty, and dilapidated cars covering acres of land, Tappan is referred to as Rust Valley, and that's where the show got its name. This is like a dreamland for car crazy people. Mike Hall, the owner of a car restoration company called the Rust Bros Restoration Company, owns a property covering about five acres of land here. This parcel of land is called the Land of Dreams, and it's the playground of Hall's car restoration company. Along with this team of gearheads, they restore antique vehicles to machines of marvel. It's no wonder these car enthusiasts have their own reality TV show, just like the American Pickers show. Rust Valley Restores, as this show is called, comprises a lot of exceptional characters and technicians. Among them are Mike Hall, the owner of the famous auto shop, and Connor Hall, his son, a business strategist. There's also Avery Shelf, his mechanic nicknamed Muscle Car MacGyver, and Cassidy McGowan, and a princess. Together, this team of car buffs goes through the challenges of restoring rusty cars for clients in Rust Bros Restoration, and the show, Rust Valley Restore, is about following this challenge. The show initially aired on History Channel before Netflix jumped on it. Created by Tyson Hepburn and Matthew Shuchuk, the show has gone on to record several episodes and has been largely successful. The Rust Valley Restores docuseries cast features Mike Hall, the car obsessed owner, and his knowledgeable, smart, and eccentric team. The show brings us their challenges, expertise, and triumph as they restore rusty old cars to their former glory. Who are these car wizards partnering with owner Mike Hall, and where are they now? Watch on to find out. Mike Hall, the owner. The exceptional CEO of the Rust Valley Restores admits to being crazy for old cars. He has an uncontrollable tendency to buy vintage cars and indulge himself. I woke up this morning and here it was. How many of these sunbeams do you own? I own six. <laughs> for <laughs> sake. In an addiction that lasted more than 50 years, Mike was able to restore about five out of the 400 vintage cars he acquired. Now that he's in his 60s, he worries that if he passes away, he'll leave just a collection of junk cars for his family. This worry led him to put the property and cars for sale, but due to the high price he was requesting, there was no buyer. Curiously, this only made him increase the price even more, but instead of getting him a buyer, it made the property popular. People started wondering what's unique about a garage yard for cars that made that expensive. Although he still retains the intention to sell the property for now, he intends to restore the majority of his vintage cars before he gets too old for them. Fortunately, or unfortunately, his lack of business acumen gave him an advantage. If he had known any better and reduced the price, he probably would have sold the property and the cars, and we wouldn't have had the fantastic show we have today. His obsession with old and dilapidated cars is the major theme of the docuseries. He didn't believe he would star in a reality TV series well into his 60s, but his eccentricity and wit made him a fascinating character for the show. As a young man, Mike was passionate about vintage cars and will pull many of them home. His job then as a rock scaling contractor enabled him to travel around, and this allowed him to see more vintage cars and acquire them. Mike is hopeful that through the show and the restoration of his vintage cars, he will be able to leave his family with few minor problems in the event of his demise. He looks at it as a kind of tidying up, but that's not what draws clients to him and his company. Clients from different parts of the continent come to buy cars that Mike and his team have restored. Some of his clients are car buffs, just like him. Mike admits that restoring and selling his cars gives him a bittersweet feeling. On the one hand, he likes that he has accomplished something he has always wanted to do, while on the other hand, he's letting go of his choice properties, properties he has held for decades. The price of his cars ranges from a few hundred dollars to upwards of $10,000. As much as Mike feels fulfilled with his dream of tidying up the land of dreams and restoring his old cars, he's still not out of the business of acquiring vintage vehicles. Avery Shof. While Mike might have a passion for cars, Avery has a knowledge of how cars work and what makes them tick. Richard loves anything that's original. He wanted rainbow glass to come over here and take the windows and the glass out of it. We aren't touching the front one. That's an original Mercedes piece, but I think we can pop the back one out and save Richard a couple bucks. It's got to go in because this lip comes underneath hey, the metal. Take a chill pill. His knowledge of vehicles means that he is the lead mechanic of the team. 
As Mike's best friend, he instructs Mike on the cars to sell and the quality of the old cars he buys. This doesn't always end well, as they tend to argue about what's best for a particular restoration job. However, it's only for the moment, and their bond will always survive a little squabble. Amory, who's also the second in command, has a son who very much follows his father's footsteps. There have been videos of him restoring a car on his own. Avery's work as a mechanic in the restoration business brings him a lot of money, but not only that, but his team also sells some merchandise. The series has become popular, and fans clamor for Rust Valley merchandise like t-shirts, caps, and other items. Avery's pastime is fishing, and now that the series is not in session, he's sure to be at a river close to Rust Valley, soaking up the sun and fishing. Just like Mike, Avery has been in the car restoration business since he was young. Before his role in the Rust Valley, there were pictures of him restoring motorcycles and fixing bikes. Avery is an active Instagram user and calls himself Muscular MacGyver on his page. He also reveals photos of his son fixing cars. There's no indication that Avery will not be in the next season, so keep your fingers crossed to see your favorite witty car enthusiast in the next episode. Connor Hall Regular viewers of the Rust Valley Restores already know Mike's sons and business strategist, who also doubles as a mechanic. The knowledge of car repairs was acquired from working under Avery early on in his career. Growing up among car buffs like Avery and his dad, Mike can do a number on young boys, doesn't it? He combines working with Russ Valley with managing his father's company, Chimera Springs Rock Works. As a young man with a keen eye for acting and business, he's a perfect bachelor. Coupled with his good looks, it's not hard to see why the gorgeous Jada Mazakin captured his heart. The mechanic revealed his relationship with Jada on his Instagram post. A casual stroll through its Instagram page is filled with romantic write-ups and pictures of his pretty fiance. Jada is a lover of cars, but she's also an entrepreneur. With her knowledge of marketing and business development, one could argue that Connor couldn't have gotten any better fiance. Cassidy McGowan Cassidy started with cars as early as she can remember. Growing up in a family of car heads, she developed a love for cars early on, and for all her love for cars, she didn't know how to drive. She had to do it more than a couple of times before she could take her driving test. She joined the Rust Bros team at the age of 17. That's how hardworking she is. Now that she's 20, it's clear to see why the Auto Body Apprentice is an integral part of the team. A lover of dogs, Cassidy is really great at her job as an Auto Body Apprentice. She combines working with the Rust Bros team with her course on auto collision repair from Okanagan College. Sarah Ward Sarah serves as a procurement manager of the team. A car junkie herself, Sarah is also good at restoring old cars. Her job involves acquiring parts for each project that is being restored. The 26-year-old showed prowess when she restored her 1938 Buick to shining glory in Season 3 of the show. Sarah, the only other girl in the Rust Bros team other than Cassidy, is married to Sean Scott. He also runs an auto shop in Salmon Arm, British Columbia, Canada. These are the principal members of the Rust Valley Restores cast that form an integral part of the show. However, many people feature in the show from time to time. Some of these features are either part of the Rust Bros team or Mike's training competitors. Greg Priest, who is the lead body man for Rust Bros, has appeared in some episodes of the show. Another member of the Rust Bros team that has made an appearance on the show is Rick Hammerston, the lead welder. Apart from these two, some rivals with whom Mike trades auto parts have appeared on the show. This is no surprise, as any lover of cars will cherish the show. If you're not obsessed with cars, you will be awed by the crew's constant usage of car lingo by the team. However, you'll catch up quickly when you eventually do watch the show.